Hi, this is Nick Genzel. I'm here to teach you how to model transport phenomena problems using console multiphysics 4.3b. I'll go over uh, our topic, our topic of study, and I will go through how we'll do it and then results. An overview of what we will do today. Uh, I will introduce the problem that we're going to be solving. It will be a concentration profile problem over a flat plate. I will set up the geometry, so set up our actual physical model in console's software. I will select the physics. In our case, it'll be a concentration problem, so it'll be transport of diluted species, so diluted chemical species. And then we will also add in the velocity profile of the gas flowing over our flat plate. Once we have that set up, I will select boundary conditions and we won't do initial conditions, but uh, I will show you how to do them if we were doing a unsteady state problem, which varies with time. And then we'll run the simulation and analyze those results and try different different tools that we can use, uh, so coupling the mass transfer with the, uh, f the flow of the chemical species over the plate, as well as the fluid flow, just the fluid flow with not considering the concentration. So the idea of this video is to instruct a you know, typical chemical engineering student who has gone through transport phenomena and has learned how to do these problems by hand. So what we'll do is teach, I'll teach you how to do tougher problems as well as couple different transport phenomena because most of the time you do not have just one transport phenomena acting on a certain system. So our problem today is a concentration problem. So what we're gonna do is flow gas uh, I think we're going to work with ethylene today, so C2H4. We'll flow that over a flat plate. Uh, the idea is that we're you know, thinking of the flat plate as a catalytic surface, but we will not consider that in today's problem. So what we'll do is we will flow gas, ethylene gas, this way. So if you consider this as our plate and your gas coming in this direction, so we'll have, this is our x direction, y direction, so we will have our gas coming in and there will be a concentration profile that builds, so the concentration will change from here to here as you've learned in your mass transfer class. So we'll do that with just a flat velocity profile, so just a constant profile across the plate. Um, and then we will add a traditional laminar flow profile by specifying boundary conditions for that. So here is our flat plate, this smaller space, and that will be our, our uh, solid in this case, and this other box is our fluid. So you think of this as our gas, or the domain that the gas is flowing over the flat plate. So here we'll select our dimensions. We're going to do a two-dimensional profile, just like I showed before. So this is our first start, how we start out each problem. We're going to do transport of diluted species. So these, is, these are our different types of physics, as Comsol calls them. So we'll add this transport uh, model. And then we're going to do just a steady state problem. So they call it stationary, uh, time dependent. We can do another day. So that's uh, how we're going to set up our model and console will generate some general nodes and uh, uh, they're called nodes but basically they're just uh, files uh, within our model. So here we have uh, just our model uh, so that will cover our model. It has our basic information like uh, the spatial coordinates we're using x, y, and z. If we were angular we'd use r. So let's go ahead and build our geometry. So we're going to make a rectangle, a thin rectangle for our flat plate. We're going to make a quarter of a meter long. It's your choice, but that's the size I'll be using as it's modeling something I'm working on. I'll also add a top plate. So the top plate is not a solid, it's actually a fluid, but the width 
would needs to match up. So then I will center this where where we can look at it. So you can see, as I mentioned before, we are flowing gas over over our flat plate. So there's our inlet and there's our outlet. So what Comsol needs from us are a set of boundary conditions, uh, which you've learned about, which are used to so solve our differential equations. So we don't use materials here, but you can specify given materials. Eth ethylene is actually not in their material library. So we're not considering the uh, mass transfer on the plate. So the domain of our study is the fluid. So we'll take the solid out and then we'll call this concentration. So that'll identify that as concentration because that's what we're studying in this part. So our equation here, which it will show you is our mass balance. So we have our diffusive flux as well as our convective flux. So we'll need a velocity profile or just a, a velocity uh, for our uh, convective flux. So we'll, we'll call this C2H4, so ethylene, the concentration, which is what our, we are studying. So that's our dependent variable. So convection will need a velocity field. So in our case, we'll just start out with constant, saying that we have a constant velocity across the plate, which is not realistic, but it'll show you how to set up the problem for now, and then we'll go back and actually do a real velocity field. So by doing this, we'll, we will have a linear profile for the velocity and just to set up the problem. So this is our convection at play. If it was zero, we'd have no convection. We'll also set up a diffusion coefficient. Uh, it'll be arbitrary in this case, but we can always change it. So right now, the boundary conditions are all no slip boundary conditions, so there's no flux at all of these points. So we need to change that. So in the case of reaction, you can add reactions, you can add anything. So we'll, we'll just start with the initial concentration. So that'll be at our inlet. So our inlet concentration will be specified. So we're gonna say 0.25 or you can call it what you'd like. Um, and then we'll also need to set up uh, other boundary conditions depending on our problem. But for this problem, we're okay. So we're defined enough that we have an inlet and that's it. So then what we'll do is actually just run our simulation since all of our boundaries defined, uh, we can see what results we get, see if they make sense. So you can see here we have a surface plot. So the blue represents the lower concentration starting at 0.25 moles per meter cube and 0.875 uh, meter, moles per meter cube or is the maximum, which is the red. So this is nice, but uh, what we can also do is add another physics we can couple the fluid flow so in our case we'll do laminar flows just a simple model so we'll couple the velocity profile that we can solve over the fluid the flat plate and couple that with the uh, transport to so the the mass transfer of the system so again we want to get rid of the the flat plate it's really only there for a boundary and for illustrative purposes so here we're solving the navier stokes equation which is a momentum balance uh, so we're looking at the, the viscous stress associated with the density of the liquid and uh, the geometry we're working with, as well as some other forces at play. So dependent variables for the velocity profile are you know, different positions. So velocity in, in the x, y, and z direction. In our case, we're, we will, it will only be x and y. Uh, since we're looking at two dimensions. So we'll define our viscosity and density. These are arbitrary values that I'm using. They are not correct for uh, for ethylene in our case, which is our gas, but we're using them as a demonstration. So that's just the fluid properties, which will help us calculate our velocity profile using Navier-Stokes equation. So right now it, it also generates no slip boundaries at all of the walls. Uh, that's just a default for console, uh, given that equation used for Namir-Stokes. So we need to change that because we need an inlet, an outlet, and an open boundary condition. Uh, so our inlet will be just an arbitrary value, uh, but it's similar to uh, what we did for the concentration problem. Uh, so we will add that as just an initial value. Uh, 
for the linear uh, linear velocity, and then we will look at our other boundary conditions as well. This equation here is just a normal uh, inflow velocity. So we need to add an outlet, so we'll just specify that has a pressure of zero, so saying that we have a driving force for our velocity. So then we'll go ahead and try to run that and see what happens. So this is study two since it's coupled uh, with both, so you can see we're solving for both physics. So here you can see our concentration profile of ethylene. Uh, it's the same, which uh, raises some questions. So we look at our velocity profile, and it looks like we're in a pipe because we have a uh, you know, lower lower velocity at the edges, but we should see uh, a higher velocity at the top. So what we need to do is make an open boundary, which is, if you think of it, it's like having a flat plate open to the atmosphere, uh, so nothing is acting on it. It's an infinite sink for the, all the forces associated with the liquid. So we need to do that for the concentration as well, because that's uh, an error in our previous results. So we'll run that as well, which will solve both physics at, at the same time, and then we'll compare those results. So these results make a lot more sense. Uh, so our velocity profile makes sense. We have just a maximum at the top of the plate, and then the concentration actually mirrors the gradient we should see. So quick conclusion of what we've done. So what we did was we defined our problem, which was a mass transfer over a f uh, flat plate, and then we added the, uh, the velocity profile. So what we had to do to obtain results, where we need to specify our geometry, our boundary conditions, so we need to develop uh, uh, some sort of condition for each. In our case, each wall, we had four walls since we had just a rectangle. And then we needed to specify inlet conditions uh, and any other boundary we needed to talk about. And we just ran the simulation. And in, in our case, we added the, the velocity profile, so we solved for that as well. And then we just looked at the results. In our case, we generated surface plots. Uh, Comsol will do that automatically for these particular settings. Uh, so then after that, we review the results, make sure they made sense. In our case, you know, I made a mistake, so I realized, okay, what kind of boundary conditions do I need to supply so that the results make sense? Now that becomes tricky, the tougher the problem gets. So you need to make sure that you specify your problem good on paper before you go to console and try to solve something. Because oftentimes, if you don't have it well defined, Console will say, I, I can't solve it because I don't have enough information. So we, luckily, we provided Comsole with what we needed, but oftentimes students don't give it enough to solve. Uh, so that is something to keep keep in mind of. But you can also find more information from Comsole Multiphysics in a Google search. Uh, you can look up their written instructions. They're good, but they're for much more complicated problems. So feel free to look for more videos from me uh, given different systems. I'll take a look at reactions uh, as well as some heat transfer as well and good luck with your studies.